Good morning, everybody. I'm Trucker Josh for you new people who just clicked on my video. I drive truck across Canada and the United States. I have about 12 to 13 years of videos that I've made every day since 2011 in my playlists. If you want to go back and start from the beginning or if you want to go back and get to know me a little bit, click on my username down below, go to my channel, click on the playlists, and they're all organized there for you. So we're on some home time for a while now, just enjoying some relaxation. Today we have to deliver a trailer, my uh, camper trailer, out to Sprague, Manitoba. It's going out on a rental. Someone rented it for the week. I'm going to deliver it to their site there and set it all up for them. Should be fun. But in the meantime, before we get started, uh, you know I've been working with the good folks at Howes for a little while now. As a matter of fact, I'm in their Hall of Fame. Go to their website, you'll find me there. Fuel injectors are very expensive to replace, especially once you factor in labor. If it's not under warranty, even if it is under warranty, once you factor in your time, your time is worth a lot of money. And that truck, when it's not running, when those wheels aren't turning, you're not making any money. Even if the parts are under warranty, your time isn't. So you're losing money when that truck is in the shop getting its injectors replaced. One way you can prolong the life of your injectors is by using Howe's Diesel Defender. Now the good people at Howe's want to get some of that product into your hands. And they want to send out some Diesel Defender to five lucky winners. Down below in the comments section, I want you to tell me if you've ever had to replace your fuel injectors on your truck, your tractor, or your pickup. How much did it cost? Including, including labor, like final cost, how much did it cost you and how long was your vehicle down for? If you have never had to replace them or if you don't drive a truck, that's fine too. Let me know down below, what do you think it would cost? How long do you think it would take to repair it? And have you ever used house products before? House products can definitely make your engine, your injectors last a whole lot longer, and you want to be running that through your system regularly. So five people in my comment section down below, we're going to pick them at random, and the great people over at House Products have a gift package for you. So if you're a winner, I'll have to reach out to you, we'll have to get in contact with each other, I'll need your contact information and an address we can send that to, and then they'll get that out to you and into your hands so you can get it into your fuel tank saving your engine. I look forward to reading all of your stories down below. I'm out and about this morning. Making a delivery. We have to deliver this camper. So funny story, which will come to no surprise to any of you who know me, I got all my cameras ready to film this whole journey because I we have some renters that are renting this and I've got to deliver it to their site, set it up for them. I'm like, oh, I'm going to film this all and make a vlog. Let's bring all my cameras with. Forgot the SD cards in the computer at home. So here we are filming on my phone. So I apologize for the uh, questionable audio do what we can so we swung by the Tim Hortons here to start our trip off right this is our one rental this year it's the only one if you've been following us since last year you'll know that uh, well that's our RV it's our personal RV but we don't really use it it's a travel trailer I don't know if you consider it an RV and uh, so last year we decided we'll make some money and we'll rent it out we rented it out for about half the summer we started in July and we had it fully booked right through the rest of the season it was very successful. It, it helped us out a lot. This year we have Theo. Uh, this was before we had our baby last year. Or no, we just had our baby. My mom helped us. Uh, because when I was on the road, Britt would take care of this business, right? She ran this business. And uh, my mom would help watch Theo when we had to do transactions and handoffs and stuff. And, uh, oh, it's getting hot in here. What am I doing? Let's put this bad boy up. So... This year, it was just too much, too busy. Uh, we have a toddler running around the house, and uh, we didn't find it worth it for us uh, to do it this year. Except for this one rental. This rental was booked a year ago already, last year on August Long. So I'm not going to cancel someone who booked it a year ago, ruin their vacation. That'd be cruel. So we held on to this one. We took the trailer off the market for this year, except for this. Uh, I have to deliver it out today and a week later I go pick it up. It's a really easy one. I'm at home anyways. I, I 
I uh, sort of merge this with my holidays, so I'm at home. So what I do is I bring it to their site where they want it. I set it all up for them, hook up the water, electricity, put the slides out, level it, stabilize it. And then in a week when we're done or when they're done, I go out there, I put it all together, pull it back, put it back in the shop, and that's it for this year for that. And then who knows? Maybe next year, maybe next year we might uh, trade this bad boy in for a boat because I think we'd make more use of a pontoon than a travel trailer as a family. But uh, who knows? Who knows? Those are just dreams bouncing around in my head. Sometimes they bounce right out and they become reality. Other times they just stay bouncing around in my head and get lost and can't find their way out. But we'll see what happens. Let's get going. Uh, we're right on time to deliver. Let's make this delivery and then let's go home, enjoy a week of holidays before we have to pick this up again. All right, I was able to rig up a mount for you guys so you can see what I'm seeing going out into the bush. We will be staying in Manitoba. It's not too far, a little bit of a hike, but that's okay. It's good to get out of town, get back out into the bush. I really miss being out here. Like I. I wish we could live out in the bush. Uh, that was the plan, right? We wanted to have a country home outside of town. But, uh, you know, things changed when we had our son. And we decided we want to be closer to services, closer to hospital, closer to family. And just closer to everything. So we sold our land in the bush. And, uh, you know, bought the place where we're at now. And we're very happy. Very happy. We definitely made the right decision for us but it is nice to come out here and visit I, I wish I could get out here more often I guess I kind of do I always go trucking through here it just feels different in my personal vehicle you know it feels more personal all right I got it all set up here for the customers battling horse flies but beautiful property that they have here I'm having like a family reunion and that's where ours is going to be parked so it is nice to be able to uh, be a part of someone's vacation weekend or vacation week sort of make their make their vacation so much better because now they have a nice air-conditioned camper to sleep in instead of just a hot humid tent right Got it tucked away into the bush here just a little bit. It's a perfect spot for it. I don't know if you can see all those horse flies flying around. They bite, and they bite fast. <laughs> really fast. They land on you, and it's like they, they bite you before their feet even touch your skin. So I'm just staying out of the shade there. They don't like the sun as much. But we're all set here. I'm going to leave, leave it here, leave them be, and let them have their vacation. I'm going to head home. I can't believe I forgot the SD cards for my GoPro. I do that so often because I take them out and I insert them into the computer, right, to get the files off the camera into the computer. And then I leave them in your computer and I take my camera and I don't check. I need to get into the habit of before I take my camera out, turn it on to make sure I got my SD card in it. But the phones we have nowadays do such good video that you don't really need these fancy cameras, fancy GoPros. They're just nice to have. They make they give the video the extra pizzazz. It's just the, the microphone on these cameras isn't as good, obviously. But I think we can deal with that. I'm on the way home now. We had a, they're a very nice uh, couple that I delivered to. An older couple. Uh, so I set it all up. You saw it there. Show them how to use it got it all uh, lined up so that they had nothing to worry about. All they got to do is just show up, use it for the week. I told them I'll be back next week to take it all down. They don't got to do a thing. So I'm glad that I'm not, uh, that I didn't just deliver it to a bunch of people who want to party. Like, hard. Like, young people partying. All I did. I don't rent my trailer out to people who party like that. This is just a nice family reunion. Uh, it's got family coming in from across Canada. Probably some from the U.S. as well. And uh, just going to have a big family hoedown, I guess, for the next week. Big barbecue every day. Probably get out on the lake. Oh, good for them. A little jealous. But we're going to have our own fun. Back at home.
Don't forget, Saturday, we're, we rented a pontoon. That'll be fun. I'm really hoping we have a nice hot day on Saturday. That would ruin it if it was pouring rain. I know they have some kind of policy that if it's raining, we get some kind of refund or like a, a credit for another time. Uh, so we'll probably just go another day, but still. So I made it back home and now we wait until, like I said, next week to go pick it up. And that's really all that's going on today. I'm on vacation, so I'm not filming full days every day, but I'm giving you little updates here and there. I want to share what a trucker like me does on his vacation time when he's not trucking. So there's a bunch of these videos coming out. I have two weeks. So there'll be a little bit of home time content. Sometimes they won't be full vlogs, but uh, I'll keep you updated on what's going on. And I mean, if you're ever if you ever wondering what a guy does on his vacation when he's a truck driver, that's what this channel is all about, right? It's to show you the life of a truck driver who's based in Canada, travels across into the U.S. as well quite a bit. But everybody's stories will obviously be different. So thanks for hanging out with me anyways. If you want to see more trucking content or my life on the road, a lot of you are just into that. Go to my channel down below, click my username, uh, go into my playlists. I have about 12 years of playlists all organized there for you to watch. If you're wondering what I've been up to, what I looked like without a beard. I'll let you figure out how far back in time you have to go to see me before I had my beard. <laughs> Now I can't imagine myself without it, right? Anyways, that's it for today. A little bit of an update. Delivered the trailer out to Sprague, Manitoba. It was like an hour. It turned out to be about an hour and a half from here. And uh, we'll go pick it up next week. So I'll talk to you later, everybody. Don't forget to subscribe. More home time content's on the way, and then we'll be back on the road before you know it.